Hi, my name is Amir Tatayvi, an assistant professor of biomedical engineering. And in this series, we talk about physiological systems in biomedical engineering. Today, we want to talk about a circuit with three RLC compartments. In the previous videos, we discussed two circuits with one RLC compartment and two RLC compartments. Those are much simpler than the one that we are going to discuss today. So I recommend that if you haven't watched those videos, first watch them and then come back here and continue this video. In the circuit that we have here, R A L A R B L B R C L C C one C two C three and delta P R now just similar to the circuit with two R S C compartments. So let's write the equations similar to the those two other circuits that we previously had. We can write the pressure drop between point zero and one between point zero and two and between point one, two and point three. For example, between point zero and one, we can write P zero minus P one equals RAQA, which is the pressure drop due to resistance plus LADQA over DT, which is the pressure drop due to inductance. And similarly, we can uh, drive the equations for the other two pressure drops. Also, we can write uh, the equations for the flow through the capacitors. For example, for the first capacitor, we can say C1 dP1 over dT equals Q1. And similarly, we can drive the other two equations. Our goal is to drive a system of six equations with six unknowns. The state, there, the state variables that we want to keep are QA, P1, QB, P2, QC, and P3. But if you look at the system of equations that we have here, we have more than six unknowns in these equations. For example, we have Q1, Q2, and Q3, or we have P0 and P12. The goal is to write these other unknowns here, for example, Q1, Q2, Q3, in terms of the state variables that we have here. For example, if we can write Q1 and Q2 in terms of QA, QB, QC, then we can eliminate these unknowns in these equations. So let's start with writing KCL and KVL. Let's start with KCL. So KCL at point zero gives us QP equals QA plus QB. KCL at point one gives us QA equals Q1 plus QA1 because QA is the only flow rate entering this node and Q1 and QA1, these are the flow rates leaving this node. Similarly for node two, we can say QB equals Q2 plus QB2. When we look at point one, two, then the flow rates entering this node are QA1 and QB2, and the flow rate leaving that node is QC. And then finally, KCL at point three gives us QC equals Q3 plus QC3. Also, we can write QC3 equals QP because when we look at the circuit that we have here, there shouldn't be any leakage between QC3 and QP. Also, there is, there is no branch. There is no extra branch between QC3 and QP. Therefore, QC3 equals QP. When we look at KCL at point one and point two, we can use these equations to write Q1 and Q2 in terms of QA, Q1, 
QB and QA1 and QB2. To write Q1 and Q2 only in terms of the state variables, which are QA and QB in these two equations here, we can combine these two equations. That gives us in the left-hand side Q1 plus Q2, and then on the right-hand side we have QA plus QB minus QA1 plus QB2. And from KCL at point 1,2, we know that QA1 plus QB2 equals QC. So we can, we can write Q1 plus Q, Q2 as QA plus QB minus QC. Now, let's look at KCL at point 3. We can write Q3 in terms of QC and QC3. But also from the last equation here, we know that QC3 equals QP. From the first equation, we know that QP equals QA plus QB. Therefore, we can write Q3 in terms of QC, QA, and QB. So, we have these two equations here, let's keep them. And now let's look at the pressures. Look at point one and point two that we have in the circuit. There isn't any element or anything between point one and point two. Therefore, the pressure at point one, P1, equals the pressure at point two, P2, and any pressure on the way between P1 and P2, such that P12. So we can write P1 equals P12 equals P2. Also, we can use KVL for the loop that we have in our circuit. The pressure drop between point 0 and point 12 plus the pressure drop between point 12 and point 3 should equal the pressure gain that we have in the circuit, which is delta P. This, this equation here can be uh, simplified as P0 minus P3 equals delta P. And then we can find P0 in terms of P3 and delta P. So let's keep these four equations that uh, we derive from KCL and KBL equations and simplify the equations, the six equations that we had here. So in the first equation, we have P0, which we know that equals P3 plus delta P. And then we have P1, which we know that it's P12. So we can rewrite the first equation in this form, in this new form. The second equation, we have again P1, which we know that we can replace it by P12. So we can rewrite the second equation as well. The third equation, similarly, again, we have P0, which is equal P3 plus delta P. And then we have uh, P2, which is P12. For the fourth equation, again, we have P2, uh, which is P12. The fourth equation, the fifth equation that we have here, if you look at the uh, parameters that we have in this equation, uh, we have uh, P12, P3, and QC. All of them, they are the state variables that we want to keep. So let's just keep it as it is. And the last equation, in the last equation we have uh, QC, uh, Q3, sorry. So Q3 equals QC minus QA minus QB. So let's replace it in this equation. These are the new, new equations that we have. In these equations, 
if you look at the second and fourth equations, in these equations still we have Q1 and Q2 that our goal was to write them in terms of QA, QB, and QC. But if we look at the left-hand side of these two equations, on the left-hand side, we have the same state variable, P12. So we can combine these two equations such that it, on the left-hand side, we have C1 dP12 over dT plus C2 dP12 over dT. And in the right-hand side, we have Q1 plus Q2. But from the last equation here, we know that Q1 plus Q2 is QA plus QB minus QC. Therefore, we can rewrite this equation as C1 plus C2 dP12 over dT equals QA plus QB minus QC. So these are the main five equations that we need to solve this system. If we rearrange them and re rewrite them in forms of matrices, we get all the first derivatives in the left hand side. The state variables that we have uh, include QA, P12, QB, QC, and P3. And then we can also find the coefficient matrix that we have here using these equations that we have. These are the equations that we can use in order to solve this circuit for any pressure or any flow rate at any point. We can use the same approach in order to solve any other circuit similar to this circuit consisting of different number of RLC compartments. Thank you very much for watching this video. Until the next one, Bye.